Hi Cancer, this is Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May 2018. So it applies from the 15th to the 30th of May and uh, just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, the link is in this video and in the description box below. And don't forget I've got that special running this month, you can get a 30 minute reading with me for just $50. So link is on this video. All right, let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing for you today is um, very specific guidance, yeah, for the next two weeks. So first up, I'm going to be pulling you some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. Let's see what you need to know, Cancer. Mm. First up, you've pulled Maui, Mother Earth. So going to be just really important in terms of uh, rejuvenation, keeping up your spirits and uh, also your energy levels and uh, balancing and grounding yourself is to uh, get your feet on Mother Earth yeah, and spend some time out in nature, fresh air. Mm, okay, you pulled Ishtar boundaries so going to be very important to uh, protect yourself emotionally, physically and spiritually uh, as well as your val values, standing up for yourself. But uh, also if people are going to be asking a lot of you, it's about putting boundaries in place and being mindful of your own energy. And if you don't feel like doing something, just don't do it. Say no, don't feel obliged. Yeah. Very important, the message coming through to conserve your energy. All right, you pulled Ostara, which is uh, it's fertility, but it's all about uh, your projects, your ideas being blessed at this this time. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Don't give up, yeah. And you've also pulled Aphrodite, inner goddess. So this is about bringing more fun and adventure into your life, tapping into your passions. Um, kind of getting a little bit more into your feminine energy. So this applies to men and women, yeah, which is your creative side, but uh, doing things like dance and uh, anything that lights you up that brings a little bit more joy into your life, yeah? All right, let's see what else you need to know. Um, not only have you got your, your uh, projects being blessed, you've also got Lakshmi, bright future. So if you've been worrying about uh, your life path, life purpose or finances, just know that everything's going to be fine. And we'll see what else comes out for you. So also going to pull you some guidance from one of my favourite decks, which is the Crystal Reading Deck. And let's see what you need to know, Cancer, in the next two weeks. Three want to come out for you. I'm going to pull them. Mm. Under Maui, Mother Earth, you've pulled Amethyst Meditation. So it's all about having that quiet time for self, self-care, contemplation, meditation, quietening your mind. Uh, it's going to help you de-stress is the message coming through. Mm. Underneath Ishtar Boundaries, you've got Kaysanite New Beginnings. have to be honest with you, a lot of signs in the mid-month reading have gotten transformation card in some form from one of the decks. So... Uh, still been going through transformation a lot of the signs since the middle of March. Uh, the fact you've got boundaries as well means standing up for what you believe in in terms of the changes that you're going through. So when you do go through a period of change, what often happens with the people around you is that they can uh, become a little bit fearful of those changes and uh, often it's out of concern for yourself but it can also be that they're bringing up their own fears and doubts and values. So the fact that you've got this sitting underneath boundaries is going to be really important to protect your dreams, whatever change you're going through, whether it's in love and romance, might be a new partner coming in. Uh, it can be to do with your career change. You might be moving home, whatever it is for you. Just uh, know that you're going through a period of transformation. Not going to apply to everybody, but when you go through that, make sure you just uh, you follow your own heart space and don't let people influence it, yeah? You've also pulled petrified wood, which is about your ancestors. So you might have some past life stuff coming up or some memories surfacing from the past. Uh, just be gentle and kind with yourself. But it's also that uh, you have some inner knowing that's come from uh, your ancestors in terms of your skills and your abilities. 
it's sitting under Ostara fertility, so your ideas and your projects, yeah. And it can also mean that your ancestors are uh, cheering you on from the sidelines. They're blessing your projects, uh, even if they've passed over, yeah. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Cancer. And I am filming outside, so if you hear any background noise, that's why. I'll have to get the birds singing as well. Mm. You've also pulled Numite Healer. So a couple of meanings here is that it might be time to seek out a healer in terms of emotional healing, heart healing. Um, it could also mean that you are a healer in terms of uh, your life path, life purpose, or it might be something that you do on the side that you're really interested in. It's actually sitting under Aphrodite in a goddess, which is all about tapping into your heart's desires, yeah. Appreciating your divinity. And I guess the other message that's coming through is don't be shy about your spirituality. Yeah? Just accept it as part of yourself. Um, you don't need other people to accept your own spirituality. It's yours, do you know what I mean? It's uh, about owning it, owning it. Under Lakshmi, you've just pulled Labradorite, take action. So this is about taking action towards your goals, um, making sure that you have clear intentions. So write your goals down, whether it's... Uh, on paper, on a whiteboard, whatever it is for you, so that they're actually uh, feel real and then take the steps you're guided to take towards your projects and your ideas. All right, let's pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. What is it that Cancer needs to know? Hmm. Under Mother Earth, amethyst meditation you've got angel of love so it's going to allow you to come back to a place of love but it's also going to allow you to center and balance yourself and open your heart up to love for those of you that are uh, single and looking for love and for those of you that are in a relationship it's about uh, particularly if it's going through any turbulence or you've got any concerns whatsoever if you do that time out for self self-care put yourself first take the time to balance and ground yourself quiet time right you're going to come back to appreciate your love partner a lot more and uh, you're going to have some more energy for your love relationship. And it also means that if you've gone through a bit of a turbulent past in terms of love relationships, you've done quite a lot of healing, yeah, and you're ready for love, men and women. Mm, okay. Underneath boundaries and new beginnings, so the part that's about uh, transformation and change. What's going to be really important to get through that is community, your friendships, yeah, your support systems. Um, open up to the people around you that are very positive in your circle. I'm going to say to you, avoid the negative ones or push them out of the circle for a while and put boundaries in place, right, until they can be more positive and supportive of your goals and dreams. Um, but surround yourself with positive people. Reach out to your friendships, yeah. And also be joining new communities in terms of whatever your interests are, even if they're like um, your hobbies or whatever, and uh, finding more like-minded people to connect with. Mm. This is beautiful. Underneath uh, Ostara for your projects, as well as uh, the Ancestor card, you've got the sun. So... This means that your projects are blessed. They're fully blessed at this time. You've got the sun shining on you. You've got the universe shining on you. Um, you can create whatever it is that you want to create, but do take the steps you're guided to take towards realising those dreams. Yeah? Beautiful. Time of renewal, a time of more peace coming into your life. So important. Angel of balance kind of been right through your reading sitting under Aphrodite so as well as the healer card so it's important to balance your passions your heart's desires your emotions um, with a bit of heart healing if you need it but also just to know that you're in balance and when you come from a place of balance you're going to be able to chase those dreams you want to chase more fully you're going to be more open to love yeah you're going to be in a great space you're going to be in a great space all right what else does Cancer need to know? Mm. Under bright future and take action. You've got the garden and the gate, right? So there's a bit of procrastination going on or a bit of fear holding you back. 
don't let it hold you back yeah open that gate because you got the sun you got the sun waiting for you you've got a bright future waiting for you if it's love don't hold yourself back either you're ready yeah gorgeous all right i'm going to pull a crowning energy for you from the Kunyin oracle deck and uh, let's see what comes up for you cancer Beautiful. All right, you've got the, uh, if you can see that, the call of the dancing crane. All right, I'm going to show it to you one more time. So beautiful. And what it says, Cancer, is the dancing crane moves through waters and muddy marsh with elegance and grace. The mating call and dance of the crane is full of beautiful movement and flow. There are times when the astral waters of our emotional life become stagnant and will benefit from the healing movement and grace and beauty of the dancing crane. The call of the dancing crane is a reminder that sound can be healing too. This is particularly so when your thoughts, beliefs and emotional patterns do not support you in living in the spiritual destiny you were born to live. Have you ever felt like you were a different person on holidays or when you were traveling? God, no, I do. <laughs> This is because you were free of the astral gravity that you usually live in on a day-to-day -day basis. The astral plane is like glue. When we put enough energy of habit into thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and stories from the past, that condition and how we interpret life experiences, we can get stuck in astral gravity, unable to let go of ways of thinking and reacting even if we really wish to do so. We can create sticky astral thoughts and beliefs that attach to houses, places, and people. When we're in a different environment, we often have a chance to create fresh habits and beliefs. This which is why when being on holiday or traveling can be so refreshing and inspiring. Sometimes, however, it's not practical and we need a healing to break through the muddy stagnation of our old thoughts and beliefs right now. And as we grow spiritually, we can outgrow our astral conditioning just like sifting mud out of water, we can move more freely and gracefully like the dancing crane. If we accept the healing energy to help us filter through our psychological programs so that our thoughts, beliefs and emotions can create new habits and patterns more aligned to what we would like to experience more of in our lives. These filtered energies can become more powerful than the old stories about life that no longer support us in living in our spiritual light. Healing the astral waters can require great patience, persistence and application to be achieved. The dancing crane uses dance and sound to thrive and you are encouraged to use movements such as dance, yoga and sacred sounds such as the chanting ma mantras or healing names of the divine such as Kun Yin to support your healing. You may intuitively feel that movement in a physical sense to a to a different location, such as going for a walk or a drive to a different park or beach might help you. If you've been feeling you need to move to a different location, change situations in your life or connect with new groups of people with whom you feel more inspiration, then this oracle is confirming this intuition and encouraging you to embrace those changes in your life. Oh my God, this card is so on point with your reading. You're being guided by the grace of Kun Yin through the healing vibration of the call of the dancing crane to stop believing in your old stories, your old habits and patterns, and to realize that they are simply astral conditioning. There is no higher truth to them than this. You are allowed to change them. You can choose to cultivate any thought, belief, or interpretation of experiences that you like. Sage advice, isn't it, huh? Sometimes we are graced with divine assistance that helps our astral healing happen more quickly and easily. We still need our affirmations to change our thoughts and to let go of, our, of old stories about self-worth, abundance, health, relationships, judgments of ourselves or others. And yet with divine blessings, it is like we get a hand helping us to lift us up out of our old ways until we can learn to stand in the new vibration on our own. You are being asked to allow her to assist you now. She might come to you in meditation. Oh my goodness, you got the meditation card, the healing card. Let me hold these up. I want to hold some stuff up for you, right? It's confirmation of what this message is, right? So 
you got the healer card, but above that, right, you got Aphrodite, and she is dancing, and it actually says on there to engage in dance. You've also got Amethyst Meditation, yeah, and uh, as well as Maui, Mother Earth, you know, connecting to uh, nature or, or the beach. Um, beautiful. You're also finding uh, inspiration with different groups. So much confirmation. You may see her as a crane goddess or hear music or sound that up, uplifts you into new vibration. You may feel her guidance in the urge to create a vision board or say affirmations or a mantra in a desire to dance or do yoga. Allow her to guide you in the perfect way for you to receive her divine blessing and to help you so that your affirmations, your vision board, made of inspiring images that you love and your choices to interpret incoming data as evidence that the universe loves and helps you to become more powerful than the pull of your past. Wow. All right, there's a healing exercise here. Let's do it, huh? I think it's going to be worthwhile. Sit quietly and be aware of your heart space. Imagine that you can look up and see a radiant ball of pure white light with vibrant neon violet flecks in the center and a radiant neon violet rim around the edges and say aloud, I call upon the electric violet light to cleanse my astral field of all negative energy now through the grace of Kun Yin, so be it. Perceive the electric violet light pouring like an endless river through the crown of your head, down through your body and out through your feet flooding out through the centre of your being until you are a huge column of electric violet light that grows larger than the room you were sitting in. Rest in this for as long as feels good and finish by saying, I call upon the grace of Kun Yin to help me manifest higher vibrational thoughts, beliefs and emotions that support my soul light in a joyful and fulfilling life experience here on this earth now. I'm Manny Padme Hum. Then imagine... That within your own heart you see two cranes dancing elegantly, calling out to each other playfully, feeling joy and delight. Imagine that these cranes represent your own soul and the soul of Kun Yin. Allow there to be freedom and dance between your souls, and when you are ready, breathe in and out, and then open your eyes. You might like to complete this process with a bar or a foot bar, including a handful of salt in the water to finish your cleansing process. Wow, that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? All right. And to finish your reading, Cancer, there is an affirmation which says, Beloved Kun Yin, goddess calling through the dancing crane, may your sound, grace and light shine brighter than my doubt or fear. May your light help me to light my own soul. May I surrender that which no longer serves me with unconditional love and replace it with the inspiration of your divine love. Om Shanti. Beautiful. All right. If you like this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, link is on this video and below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.